Did you know you can cook amazing food, healthy and delicious with just five basic ingredients? Come, let's start. Class number one. Delicious food, amazing mood. Chef Pachi, the winning journey starts now. Here we have our basic five. Onions, bell peppers, garlic, spring onions. That's it. With these, you're going to prepare some amazing food every day. And if you chop them and keep them frozen, you'll always have a clean kitchen. We will peel the onions, chopping the top and the bottom, and then peeling off all of that skin. Then we're going to chop it in big chunks and slice it. This is part of the first class. Eventually, we'll start dicing. You can just cut the onion in eighths. This is a simple way, but any way you cut it, it's going to be fine. We're gonna use these onions for many recipes, for sautés, we're gonna use them for baking, for cooking, for soups and sauces. Something I suggest you can get is a mandolin. This is something that costs around $20 and it's amazing, a huge helper when you don't know how to slice and it's always gonna come out perfectly beautiful and as thin as you want. With the white onion, we do the exact same thing we did with the red onion. They are exactly the same. The red onion is used more for salsas and it's a little bit sweeter. You can use it more in raw ingredients and the white or yellow onions we're going to use cooked. But you can use one or the other. They are both full of flavor and they are antibacterial and antiviral. Sometimes when you buy your vegetables, they are not totally perfect. Don't worry, just remove the place that looks a little odd or bumped and let's not waste any food. The rest of the vegetable is perfect. This one has a little brown thing inside, which I actually think is a little stem of onion growing again. Just like we did before, we'll thinly slice the white onion too. Now let's remove the center of the bell pepper and the seeds. And you can either cut through or cut almost through like I'm gonna do and just push all that seed and the center out. It's so easy, everything comes out together. If you cut both ends, it'll come out too. It's just, this is the way I like it. And check it out, it had a little baby bell pepper inside. Chop it, use it, and cook with it. It's perfect too. You're gonna see that bell peppers slice much better from the part that is not shiny. Since we're gonna cut chunks, we're gonna slice it, we're gonna quarter it first, then cut each quarter in half, then we're gonna remove the white parts of the bell pepper because the white parts and the seeds you don't want, and then you'll just dice, make triangles, whatever shape you like. Now we have ready our red onions, our white onions, and our bell peppers. Let's put them aside and start with the rest of the other two ingredients. So here we have a small bunch of green onions. And you can cut the stems if they're still attached or the roots to the green onions. Then remove those slippery coatings that they have, especially at the ends. Remove them under running water, and then you're ready to chop. Cut them in half, chop them any way you like it. I usually chop the dark green parts together and the lighter parts together too. They have a little bit of a different texture, and it's easier to cut them that way. You can chop them small or larger, on the bias, however you like it. They are gonna be great seasoning many of your foods and you're gonna love them. 
The flavor is subtle and they are also antiviral and antibacterial. This is our healthiest five ingredient list ever and you are going to love the food that comes out of it. I use these containers to keep some of my frozen vegetables. You can also use zipper bags, which I also use sometimes. The garlic. The garlic, we are gonna smash so we can break it up and remove all those garlic cloves. Even though I showed and bought two, one is more than enough for two weeks maybe. How do you get that garlic out of each piece without getting all of your hands dirty? Cut the ends, smash them again one by one, and immediately they come out. You do not have to peel the garlic per se. You see some of them come almost clean, but you want to remove them. Just press and they are they're coming out. That's it. We have enough garlic, I would say, with these two, two heads for a whole month. Won't have to chop garlic anymore for a whole month. So you go press once you have all the little garlic clubs out and then chop. You can do this in a food processor. I usually you can watch the video where I process other foods that you don't need right now, but you might want later, which is ginger and turmeric and a lot of those foods that I love to have, even sun dried tomatoes, which I chop and freeze. Every time I get something amazing that I know that's going to give great flavor to my food, I do that. I chop it, process it, and freeze it so that I keep it and I don't have things spoiling in my refrigerator. Most of them I process them, put them, like I told you, in a little bag, flatten them, and I break the pieces frozen. You can chop it more or less. I just leave it like that, a little bit chopped, and I'm ready to go. Now we're going to pack these in Ziploc bags or zipper bags that are freezable bags. And these bags I reuse. I usually use 10 bags every month and I reuse them. You're going to see how what we did takes about a quarter of a bag of a quart size freezer bag. I do not freeze the garlic in freezer bags because they smell too much and then I wash them and the smell doesn't come out. Here are our red onions, beautiful chunks made in minutes. Here we have our sliced red onions, beautiful. Now we have our bell pepper chunks also in the bag. Check out the bags, I mean it's amazing. We have two quarters of a bag left in the bell pepper, not that much. I'd say we have half of the bag left. Then in our green onion, we definitely have three quarters of a bag or more left over. Oops, we had forgotten the white onion chunks. And in our garlic, where we have all the garlic we're gonna need for a whole month with two heads of garlic, you see, I'm putting the garlic in a regular sandwich bag because I mean, I won't reuse these ones. And I tried the silicone bags, but the smell doesn't come out. So this is why I, why I use these. So we're gonna pack our white onion chunks also in a bag. And you can see we have a lot of space in this bag. Every week I buy one herb. And that herb, like you can watch in another video, dries on its own in the refrigerator. So every week, I buy one that I start using fresh and at the end I will use it as it dries up. So in these packages and with a dried herb or a fresh herb that is going to dry, we have all the delicious flavors we're going to add to some amazing food like you see in the pictures. And we are going to have burgers and we're going to have ribs and we're going to have poultry and salmon and all sorts of seafood and everything imaginable that you want, you can cook with these five basic and amazing ingredients. Shepachi, your delicious food, is amazing mood. Enjoy! And best of all, delicious, easy, no hassle. Shepachi, subscribe for easy, delicious and healthy food in minutes.
Did you know you can use half the fat to saute and do it in half the time? Add a little bit of water once the pan is really hot. This will create some steam and steam cooks faster than dry heat, direct heat, water and even convection. So enjoy your foods faster and with a tiny amount of fat. Cook all of your veggies fast with this Chef Pachi hack now. Enjoy! Hi, this is Chef Pachi and today I have cilantro garlic paste. I process everything. The cilantro stems, I use the leaves for pico de gallo and many other recipes. And then I place it in a zipper bag or in a very flat container and freeze it. That way, every time I eat garlic, I have an amazing aromatic garlic and I don't have to get my hands dirty. We're gonna do our pico de gallo. And remember I said, we're gonna peel the tomatoes and remove the seeds. If you want to, you don't have to peel them, but it's better to remove the seeds so that this sauce is chunky. Remember, the other sauce is more liquid. Now we mix our red onion, our diced, seeded and peeled tomatoes, our minced cilantro, and we're going to add now some vinegar. Again, we're going to add white vinegar. Let's add a little bit of our olive oil. And grab our lime and cut and add our lime juice. Now we're ready to mix and add our pepper. We're going to add our jalapeno pepper at once. This way you'll have a beautiful pico de gallo. So what we do with the jalapenos is we cut them, seed them, and process them or mince them really small and then add them to the sauce. Scroll down for the recipe. You can print it. Today I have an amazing recipe. It is one that I use all the time and I always keep refrigerated. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to process or chop our parsley and cilantro. You can choose the two herbs you like the best. These are the ones that I usually get every week, so I have them at hand. So I have half a cup of cilantro, half a cup of parsley, and half a cup of scallions or green onions couple tablespoons of my processed garlic, some salt, pepper. We're gonna add this to a cup of Greek yogurt. And that's it. Imagine all the phytonutrients and the flavor of this beautiful sauce. You can add it to potatoes, to wraps on breads, and just add plain steamed or cooked chicken. Enjoy it deliciously. It's fantastic and you can use it for many recipes. Oh my god, pork chops. Bone-in pork chops. They are delicious. You can have them seasoned and enjoy them anytime. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some yogurt on top of our pork chops. Add some herb, slice an onion, some nuts, fresh herb, oats, Parmesan cheese, we add a little bit of salt and pepper on top and oregano. And we're ready to go. Perfect. Always. It makes the moistest pork chops ever. They will not dry out. I promise. Bake them and that's it. They are delicious. Try. Moist. Always delicious. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious food, sustainable mood. Chef Pachi. One pot chicken and rice meal made in minutes. Hi, today I have a special casserole type one pot meal filled with Colombian flavor. Cook it in 20 minutes. You can also make it with brown rice. Just give it 10 more minutes of cooking time. I use the one pot electric pressure cooker, but you can use a stove top or a multi cooker. Give your family the food they love and keep their hearts always at home. serve the best Colombian 
chicken and rice, arroz con pollo, patchy style, in one pot, unsupervised, and cooked in less than 20 minutes. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious food, sustainable mood. Chef Pachi. Scroll down for the recipe. You can print it. Come, let's make some delicious lentils. They're gonna help us lose weight, be healthy, and have lots of strength and iron. We're gonna put everything in a pot, and we're gonna cook them in a pressure cooker at medium heat. Then we're gonna take all of the vegetables, carrots, onions, tomatoes, bell pepper, and some cilantro with turmeric, salt, and pepper, and we're gonna make the most amazing lentils ever. Once they cook, we take out all of the vegetables and some of the cooking liquid, blend them together, and put them right back into the pot. Mix, and voila, we're ready. We have the most amazing lentils ever. Everyone's gonna like them at home. Nobody's gonna see those vegetables, but they are gonna receive all the benefits of them. Remember, with Shepachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.